Last week, we talked about players to build a team around. This week, we're going to switch it over and take a look at coaches. Neil, you've got a choice between any coach in the Valley mm -hmm. to build a junior college program on. Who, do, who are you going to take? Lone Peak Coach Quincy Lewis. Why? In a second. Because, he's first of all, he's already been a college assistant twice. Uh, actually, three times. He was at BYU-Hawaii. He was at Southern Utah, and he was at Utah Valley. In fact, Utah Valley's old coach, Jeff Reinert, went to that administration and told them, if you hire Quincy Lewis, I guarantee he will be a winner the first, the first year. And if you don't like him after a year, get rid of him. He was so sure that Quincy Lewis could take that program, turn it around, and he never got the chance to do that. But I, I firmly believe that he would be the right man. He's young. He's very good with the, with the players. He's a player's coach. He has discipline. He took over a program that is one of the tougher programs to coach yeah, in the state. Yeah, there's a lot of pressure up there. A there's a pressure. lot of pressure, and there's a lot of unreal expectations. And he has players and students yelling, we love Quincy during they the games. They believe in him. They believe in him. <laughs> they believe in I him. I agree with, his cho with your choice of Quincy Lewis. I think he would be the best choice except for one thing. How long would you be able to keep him? If he has some success at the next level, how quick would he be willing to move on? That shouldn't have anything to do with it. Yeah, it does, no, it me, doesn't. in my opinion. Are you if nuts? I want to establish a program... Oh, so you're going to take a lesser to, coach so, you, so, so he'll coach stay there. I don't know if the coach I would choose is going to be a lesser coach, considering oh, what he's word. done. That's, I would take Provo coach Craig Drury. After what he's done on the at Provo over the last 30 years, I don't think you can go wrong with him, but at the same point, he's established. He's established his lines of connection. He has line. He has network. His network because he knows all of the players and coaches because he's been around so long. If I'm starting a junior college, I like him because he's going to stick around in the area. He's an established presence that people know. That's why I take him just by a little bit over. Lewis. Okay, I, I'm not going to argue with the Drury selection because you know how I feel about Drury, having spent the year with him and doing the book and all that. Um, but. For you to say that you're not going to take a coach because you don't know if you can keep him, to me, is totally but when illogical. But when you're arguing between two very good coaches, you have to look have at to little things like that. That's no, my opinion. No, you don't. Yes, you do. I don't understand Absolutely. that. Okay, so if you're, if you're Utah State, you're going to take a guy for their football program because you think he'll be there or a guy that can turn the program around and build it into a winner? Well, I you're mean, talking about a, apples and oranges no, here, I'm though, because a, 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 a Division totally One university is a different, a different level than a junior and, college. And incidentally, when, when Utah Valley job opened up and Jeff Reiner got the job, there were many high school coaches that applied for that job, including Tint View's Don Chamberlain. Uh, he didn't get it. They didn't want a high school coach. And I, I've always felt like, this is a little bit off the subject, but I've always felt like High school coaches do not get enough credit for what they do do. Well, I agree and with they, you there. And they went Absolutely. with Jeff Reinert, who was a BYU assistant at the time. Um, but it is interesting to see, and it would be good for someone to give those guys a chance. It I'd would like be fun to see, to see both of those coaches, in my opinion, see what they could do at a, at a, you know, at a junior college or, or a low-level Division I school. And I know, because that, they're very I know that Craig Drury's had other opportunities. His, his good friend and... and uh, former teammate Stu Morrill's coaching at, at Utah State, mm -hmm. and so he's had other opportunities. But just because you're a coach at the high school level doesn't, some people equate that as you can't coach at the next level. It's not true. A lot of people just don't want to do it. The, I mean, the college coaching is a grind. Yeah, it is. And, and there's it's a, a lot different to animal it. than the high school, although I agree with you in that the high school coaches don't get enough credit. And the fact that... Uh, I mean, high school coaches at this, at this time and this level, I mean, you get in a groove, you have a good program, like Drury's been able to do at Provo. You don't want to go on the road and recruit and have to deal with all the NCAA nonsense or in junior college case, people transferring every year and mm -hmm. all that kind of nonsense. So uh, a, good, a good topic, a good, good question.